We're here at the Old Pepper Distillery and um, just discovered my new favorite rye whiskey. Um, and we're gonna use that um, as a base for a smoked chicken fried rice um, that I'm gonna make. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make my marinade. We're starting with ketchup as a base, throw in a little bit of miso. This is a red miso paste, uh, and it's gonna lend a lot of depth, some saltiness, some richness to the dish. Brown sugar, soy sauce, got a little bit of uh, sesame oil, apple cider vinegar, then I've got a little bit of onion powder and a little bit of paprika. I'm going to whisk that up and then I'm going to add some rye whiskey. I'm using rye instead of bourbon. It's going to give me a little spicier finish than the sweet bourbon. Let's give that a taste now. Oh, perfect. Mm. This is going to be your new favorite barbecue sauce. I've got my chicken broken down. And I just want to add, you know, just a little bit to each. You don't want to smother it. Well, that's good. Okay. And then again, with your hands, just kind of gently toss it around. You want to get it all over. Same with the breasts. Flip it around a couple of times. And you're ready to cook. Here's the trick with this recipe. I want to cook them two ways. Obviously, the drumsticks are going to take longer to cook than the breast. And I want a softer, low, slow cook with this. But the breasts don't have a lot of fat in it. It's pretty lean. So I want to do a high grill, um, but keep the center pretty moist. So let's see what I got here. This is really cool, because I want you to see what, how this works. I'm going to add my drumsticks right into this handy drumstick holder and it's gonna keep it upright the whole time. I'm gonna get an even smoke around the entire surface area of that drumstick, which is gonna make for a really beautiful smoke, smoke drumstick. So that's gonna go mon smoke mode, 225. I'm gonna leave that there for about two hours. We're gonna check our smoker here. Look at that. It's perfect. So now at this point, I'm gonna work on my chicken breast next. So. Uh, I'm going to switch from smoke mode to sear mode because I want that high heat now to grill the chicken breast and I'm going to go to about medium. I want to take my chicken breasts. They've been marinating for two hours so they're really perfect ready to go. I'm going to go skin side down, gently place it on there. I don't think there's any sound in the world better than hearing a sizzling grill. And again, don't really have to do anything. This grill is going to do all the work for you. I really don't want to mess anything up. I don't want to touch it. I'm just going to watch it and make sure it doesn't burn. But what I'm looking for right now is I want to get those grill marks on the chicken breast. It's going to render some of the fat that's right underneath the skin. And now what I don't want to do is cook this chicken breast all the way through on this hot grate. Because by the time the middle gets cooked, the outside will be dry. So then after I get a little bit of sear on the other side, I really want to just slowly finish the chicken. And that'll be perfect right here. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to finish the last component of the dish, which is going to be my fried rice. All right, so I'm going to remove my center grate here. Be careful, it's very hot. And I want to show you one of my favorite flex grate accessories which is the griddle pan. So you can use this to sear on it, make paella, make pizzas, um, but today I'm gonna make fried rice with it. So I start with my oil right in the center. Some shallots. Toss that around a little bit. You see how fast that cooks? Ooh. Add my garlic, add my green peppers. I've got some shaved Brussels sprouts really important to keep everything moving. When those Brussels sprouts look wilted and just a little bit caramelized, I'm going to add my next ingredient, which is my diced ham. My next ingredient is going to be my rice. And remember, the key to fried rice is to have already cooked rice that's chilled down. So you can even make this rice the day before. You want all your rice kernels to stay nice and separate. You don't want any clumps. I'm going to add 
a little bit of soy sauce. I'm gonna add a little bit of fish sauce and really just the tiniest bit. A little bit of black pepper and for a little spice, I've got some chili flakes. I'm gonna finish this off by glazing it with a little bit of rye whiskey from James E. Pepper. As soon as your liquid evaporates, your rice is nice and fluffy, hot. Your vegetables are caramelized. You are ready to go. So, I've got my plate. And at this point, you want to move pretty quickly because you don't want to burn your fried rice. Look at that. So good. And you got to make sure at this point, all your guests are sitting down and you're ready to eat. Because once you plate this, you don't want to sit around and let the rice get cold. I've got my chicken breasts. I'll lay right on top of there. And I've got my smoked chicken leg. And now this is the marinade that I made before. I saved a little bit on the side. And I'm just going to dress a little bit around the plate. It's going to have a nice barbecue, miso barbecue flavor. If this doesn't make you hungry, I don't know what will. Beautiful.